you guys doing? It's July 25th, 2019. Hoping you're having a wonderful day. A blessed day indeed. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about. First, Iran now firing off missiles, testing missiles. Uh, they just tested a new missile uh, that can now reach uh, the entirety of Israel. Uh, and uh, it can even reach all the way to Greece. All right, so that's not going to make Israel very happy. Uh, the U.S., when responding to the whole North Korea new two new missiles, okay, that were fired last night, uh, really downplayed it. Pompeo uh, basically said, "Oh, we all look, we all go look at our militaries. We all go take pictures. No big deal." Of course, the U.S. is appeasing North Korea as they uh, have been. That's kind of been there. Uh, the Trump administration's foreign policy. It, you know, it's harsh words and then appeasement. It seems like. All right. Um, a little bit more on Iran, just because North Korea, that's just gonna, that's gonna just keep on playing out, you know, until they start testing ICBMs once again, uh, we're not gonna see uh, harsh words uh, t towards them, that's just not going to occur. Uh, I think the Trump administration really wants a win with North Korea, um, and I don't believe that they think they're going to get that with Iran, okay? Uh, Pompeo uh, came out today and stated that he would go to Iran for direct talks if need be. All right, and I've seen so many conflicting reports back and forth on Iran's openness to talk to the United States of America. All right, uh, apparently uh, the Ayatollah today came out, or maybe it was uh, Rouhani came out today and stated that that uh, good old Iran is willing to stay within the nuclear deal even if the U.S. does not. Uh, but of course they want sanctions lifted or at least sanctions uh, rewritten all right because they you know they've taken a big hit they, they aren't able to sell oil like they used to and I think they want to start doing that again because their economy is kind of going to shit right um, but you know I, I just don't see talks with Iran working out uh, I don't see sanctions being lifted uh, from Iran. I think the U.S. maximum pressure campaign is going to continue. Uh, we, we have more of the, the talk about uh, coming from CENTCOM, coming from the U.K., coming from the EU, about maritime uh, security, freedom of navigation, okay? Um, you know, we're, this is where we stand right now with Iran, okay? Iran currently they're breaking the JCPOA or the, the uh, Iranian nuclear deal. Okay, they're breaking it, but they're you know they're they're bending it but not breaking it. I, I think that's a better way of putting this. Now, if provocations continue, then uh, you know obviously escalation's going to continue. Right now, we're kind of sitting at a crossroads. I've said that before when it comes to Iran. Uh, because I do believe a major provocation has to occur for the U.S. or its NATO allies to uh, decide to strike Iran. I don't think that that's just something that's going to occur, you know. Um, I do see if they continue on the road they're, they're on and continue to uh, bend the Iranian nuclear deal. That means enriching uranium even more, getting close to that 20%. If that does occur... I think that Israel strikes Iran without provocation, okay? Uh, but where we sit right now, you know, we're just kind of, we're kind of stalling out. And this happens, you know, uh, this happened before they shot down uh, the U.S. drone. We kind of stalled out a little bit. People stopped talking about it. Things got a little bit quieter. There were still some harsh words, but no real action. And then, you know, one day, one moment can change that. And I think that's where we're at with Iran right now. We're just stalling out a little bit. It doesn't mean things are getting better, okay? But we're waiting for that one big thing to occur, all right? We're going to have to continue to watch the situation as it unfolds. I'll let you guys know. We'll talk about what we'll discuss. And once again, I am on vacation this weekend, all right? So if I do not get uh, a video out right away, if something major happens, you know, don't crucify me. Uh, if nothing major happens, I probably won't make a video until uh, next Monday night or Tuesday morning, all right? Uh, hoping everyone has a blessed weekend. Grab a beer, say a few prayers, spend time with family. Get out of the house. Enjoy the summer. Uh, yeah, uh, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later, all right?